Hey everybody. Okay. So the last video I did was about the Dave Ramsey, um, what was it? <laughs> Seven baby steps to securing your financial future. So after I released that video, I actually received some emails asking me questions about my specific budget. And they also wanted to know things like how did I save the money in the first place to pay off my debt and to also already have four months of living expenses saved up. So it got me to thinking about what is my process. And I think I have a bunch of pieces to my process. And when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I can share what I do in my budget, but I really don't think it's going to help anybody. It'll probably confuse you even more because... Two things about me. I'm random and random makes me happy. And sometimes my things are maybe a little more complicated than they need to be. And they're never an exact science. Um, so let's let's get into this. Let's talk about this a little bit. Um, we're already in the middle of January. So my budget, because I'd started this in January and I already had received the first half of my income for the month. So my budget is for the remainder of February, I mean of January. And I'm doing a few things. I'm doing some of the things that Dave Ramsey suggests, but then I'm also doing some things that I know already works for me and, and things that I like. Um, Dave Ramsey's approach is a zero-based budget, meaning that you're going to take your budget and you're going to assign every dollar that comes in, you're going to give it an assignment. So you're going to spend everything or move everything so that it's going towards something until your end total equals zero. I don't necessarily do that. He also believes in uh, no credit cards. I live a credit card lifestyle. I travel a lot and I do um, credit cards with travel rewards. So I basically pay all my bills and I pay everything in my life with credit cards. And so my budget kind of reflects that as well. So... um Let's take a look at my budget. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what. Ah, this is going to suck because I'm messing this all up. Okay. So as you see, I um wrote my budget out on a piece of paper. It's not on the internet. Well, actually it is. I actually use Dave Ramsey's Every Dollar um, site, the application Every Dollar for my budget. And then I also write my budget out manually because I like doing things like five, six, 11 times. Um, this is fun for me. So what we see here in number one, the $4,610 is the amount of income that I have coming to me for the remainder of the month. This income is from multiple streams of income, which I did not break out what comes from where, but basically that's the sum total of the different things that I have coming in. That is also the income that I have available to me after taxes, after the 12% is taken out that goes to my 401k. Oh yeah, the last time I left you, I said his, his step says to invest 15%. But I went ahead and moved my investment to 12% because that reached the um, pre-tax threshold that I was allowed to invest. And that's also after all my benefits and stuff come out um, that I pay on, like life insurance, health and dental, and also my flex spend. And I do um, send money to my flex spend and health account. So 4610 is what we have after that. And then also with my budget, this is not in any specific order. I do not have it listed in order of importance or of priority or anything. This is basically just kind of what I do. So off the top, $500 comes out that I um, write checks to people and things. That's the money that I give away, gift away. And then items two through nine those are just my standard bills, gas, electricity, so on and so forth. Also, let it be noted that I already, like before January, like before this, I had already did the work to go ahead and try to reduce my bills to as low as possible. For instance, number five, the cable bill, 155 
that used to be about 250 a month. Um, the way I got that reduced, my cables with Verizon, the way I got that reduced is I went ahead and I picked their, um, their package deal where basically you can choose like two channel packages. Um, so I cut off like all of the kids stuff like Disney and so on and so forth. I don't have any kids, young kids. And I also cut off like the sports entertainment package. And I believe, I don't know, the packages I have, have the shows that are super important to me, like... The Real Housewives franchise and Love and Hip Hop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how I stay educated and up on current events. Um, also, I had my internet speed reduced to 50 over 50, which I think I had 75 over 75 before. Reduce it to 50 over 50. I don't see much of a difference in my speed, so I'm good with that. Um, my cell phone, I have four people on my cell phone um, bill, so 250 a month for four people on limited plan cool with that and um what else I don't know that's that's about all I think I could reduce oh I think later down the line auto insurance 185 I have three people on my auto insurance policy also let's see item number 10 extra mortgage what that is is the piece where um Dave Ramsey says to start paying down the mortgage what I'm going to do and what I'm going to play with is just kind of sending to my mortgage extra money. So for this month, I'll be sending an additional 250 The way I came up with that is I took one of my streams of income and I said, I'm going to send one third of that stream of income toward my mortgage. That stream of income can range anywhere from 250 to 750 a month, depending um, so that number will not be the same every month, but the minimum it will be is 250 toward my mortgage. And then I have item number 13, that timeshare, annual timeshare fee. What that actually is, is I normally pay my timeshare fee up front and I paid it at the end of last year. That $65, what that actually tells me is that the timeshare maintenance fees went up because I was short $65. So that meant that it wasn't the same that it was the previous year. Um, I'm not a big believer in timeshares. I would say they're not good investments. And if you haven't fell into that rabbit hole, don't do it. Stay clear of that. I've had my timeshare for like over 15 years. So, you know, kind of stuck with it until I learned to do something better with it sell it for a dollar or something. A lot of people are like um, dumping timeshares at no profit just to get rid of that yearly maintenance fee. And then after that, we look at number, item number 16, way up here. Item number 16, that's my checking account. I like to keep a little cushion in my checking account. Actually, Right now that says 200, but I'm going to reduce that to 150 a paycheck, which I usually get two paychecks in a month. And what that is, is that just serves as ATM money when I go to the ATM and pull out cash. But remember, I live a credit card lifestyle, so I really don't use a whole lot of cash. So um, with that $200, whatever is left over in my checking account from the previous pay period, I just add enough to bring that number back to 200 so in February's budget, you're going to see that whatever was left over, we just add enough to get that number back up to is going to be 150. So it may not be a true 150 coming from the budget, but it's going to be whatever it needs to be to bring that number up. And again, that number is just also that the checking account money is also for like random checks that I may write. Um, I don't know, because somebody only takes checks or something like that. So that's what that number is. Item 17 and 18, that's my credit card lifestyle. So what I do there is like, for instance, this month before this paycheck, what I have is a balance of $20 on my Sapphire card and $400 on my Prestige card. Those numbers were um, accrued this month in January. So they didn't carry over from last month or anything. And whenever I get paid or get money that comes in, 
I go ahead and I pay those things off. That's essentially like my spending money. But also you'll see on my budget that I don't have a category for groceries or restaurants or entertainment, things like that. I just kind of freestyle because I like being a freestyle type of person. <laughs> We're going to see how this works for me. And, um, and sometimes I end up doing things that aren't necessarily planned. I like to be able to say yes in a moment if I want to go to dinner or to a movie or something like that. And I just pay with my credit card and then pay the credit card off. Um, what I am doing a little different this this year is I'm anticipating events that I have coming up. Like for instance, this month, I know that I'll be going to Snowshoe, West Virginia to snowboard. And the what I know that that's gonna cost me so far is $520, $320 for lodging, $200 for my lift tickets. But as you see, it doesn't, tell me what I'm going to need to spend on gas or food. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. I'll throw it on my credit card. I'll pay it off either from my savings or from whatever. Number 20 is $1,200. That's the amount that I will be sending to my savings account. With that $1,200, again, if I end up making a purchase that's a little bigger than I was anticipating, I can reduce my savings by that amount or I can strategically figure out something for February's budget. 145, this is definitely the part that um, Dave Ramsey would not agree with. I call it my floating and ready on deck money. What that really is, is just floating spending money. So 145 is the money that doesn't have an assignment right now. And usually that's the money that I end up making a credit card purchase. Like for instance, yesterday I went to the grocery store and I spent $28 on some grocery items. That $28 would be subtracted from that 145. And then, which I believe, I don't know, puts me somewhere around 113. And with that, it's like, I know, okay, I only have like about $113 left for the month. And where that helps me is in my mind when I'm thinking about buying something, like for instance, at the grocery store, I was thinking about buying bacon. Bacon was going to be about $5. Knowing that I only had about $113 left, I really had to sit there and say, well, is it worth decreasing that for some bacon that I really don't need? Um, and really all I do with it is make like bacon wrap dates, which I love. So I said, no, not really worth it. So I didn't get the bacon. Um, and that's how that works. Now with the floating money, whatever that number is, if I have anything left over by the 1st of February, what that what happens then is um, that money will just go get dumped into my savings account. Um, I don't anticipate having anything left over because again, $113 and that doesn't, you know, gas. I would say gas is probably the only thing I really have to spend. Oh, I don't know. I got dinner the end of this month too. Eh, we'll see what happens. I'll make adjustments in February as necessary, maybe decrease the savings or I don't know, figure out something else. Who cares? It's not that serious for me. Also, I my budget is also based off of, I pay everything in a month that's due in that month. Meaning that I don't carry, like I don't take money from last month to pay this month's expenses. So if my mortgage, like my mortgage is due on the fifth of every month, and let's say a time comes up where I don't get paid to the sixth or the seventh or after the fifth, what I do is I borrow money from myself. I keep about a $3,500 cushion in my, the saving account that I have more access to. And if I need to, I borrow money from that to pay off, to pay the bills that came up. And then when I get paid, I refund that account. It's still a savings account. It's still money that I don't tend to really spend, but I just borrow money because I like to look at the month and pay what's due in the month from the money that I make in that month. Um, I think that's about it. Was that confusing for you guys? Uh, it was a little confusing for me as I started talking about it, but let me see if I can put these videos together and make them one nice and neat video. That's all I have. Thank you. And I will talk to you again if I decide to do another video, which I probably will.